How's it going? Ooh, is that mine? I, I brought you a gift. Mm. Ooh, ice fishing box. Yeah, okay. first ice fishing box of the year, my guy. But I'm going to keep that one. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, John. And yes, today we are fishing. And just in time, I got my first ice fishing box for Mr. Tackle Box of the freaking year. This video is sponsored by Mr. Tackle Box. Shout out to them for helping me out on this video. If you guys want a box, I will leave a link in the description for you guys to go check out. Basically, if you guys don't know what Mr. Tackle Box is, you get a box every month sent to your doorstep. It's like Christmas. You get a bass box, a walleye box, a panfish box, any type of fishing box that you want. They have all the fishing goods. We are actually going to unbox this in Sam's little office right here. Look at this. What You're living like a freaking rat down here, my guy. Guy. Look like, do 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 T Bell like sour. Pat I'm who's not man's sour, bro? Like I said, we are gonna go through the box. This is my first box of the year. That's a nice fishing box. We got the dot lure, just basically a little tungsten jig right there. We got some Northland tackle impulse plastics. These look like some little crawlers, dude. Have you ever seen these before? No. They're like little crawlers. What the heck? Yeah, it's like a mini crawl. That's a that's pretty cool. Out. We have the Vexen Crystal Reaper. This is just basically a little jig and wrap. Right here, we got some Trigger X minnows. This is a one inch soft plastic bait. Perfect for panfish. Then right here, we got a little Sitka bait. This looks like basically a little spoon right here. Put a head of a minnow on there and you guys are gonna be catching some really big walleyes. Then we got a Lighted Vibe minnow. Wait. Dude, this has a battery in it and it lights up. Bro. Holy, dude, you Bro. just put, whoa. It, Sam I, literally just, I don't know if you guys can see this, but Sam put it in water and it lights up. It's activated by water, bruh. This little jig right here lights up when you put it in the water. And this is perfect for fishing at night. Like I said, you guys can catch some big fish on that. And then we got a window maker tungstens. These look pretty, pretty juicy. This is a size 14. They glow in the dark, which is super, super key. And last but not least, we got more tungstens. We got the Kenders tungsten. Looks like a little nymph right there. Perfect for some bluegills and crappies. As you guys can see, we got some really, really good looking stuff. I am looking forward to using that, but in today's video, I'm not going to be using it. I'm going to be using it in a different video, but I just got it and I got so excited. I'm like, dude, I need to unbox this right now. So if you guys want to go over to Mr. Tackle Box and get one of those boxes for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to follow. On to today's video. Oh, hey, Bobo, hey. Hey. What's up, Rick? You ready to go fishing? Yeah, I'm just chilling on the couch. Wait, what are you doing? We're going fishing, dude. Where's your bibs? All right, so yeah, we're picking up this goober right here. Haven't seen him in a while. That's Ryan. Ryan has been busy deer hunting doing European mounts. And if you guys actually need a European mount for your deer, I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, the right check the garage. Check, yeah, there's some deer in the garage you can go check out. But today we're not deer hunting or doing European mounts. No, no, no. We're going ice fishing. My buddy Ryan has not been out yet this year, correct? Okay, so I'm taking him out. This is uh, the John Lehman Guide Service. We're gonna go smash some panfish, maybe some bass in Northern. I'm not really 100% sure. But today's kicker, we're gonna stop at running. So I'm gonna grab some Gulp Alive. I did a video like this last year. You guys seem to really like it. So I'm bringing it back this year. I'm gonna go to runnings, pick out some gulp alive something and i'm gonna try using that to catch some fish and see if it works it is early ice so we're gonna be taking those safety precautions i'll kind of go over them once we get out there and you know ryan can you know fall through the ice maybe that'd be kind of funny but with that being said we're gonna go to ryan's and pick up some gold all right we had to make a quick stop got the old starbs or basic white girls today and we have made it to runnings. What are we doing here? We are getting the gulp alive so we can make this title thumbnail pretty juicy yeah let's go inside and see if we can find some gold is it weird seeing all the ice fishing stuff here? Yeah. Wow. Tis the season, huh? Oh, goodness. All right. I did a video here last year on this stuff right here. This is the Gulp Alive. So if you don't know what Gulp Alive is, it's basically nasty plastics soaking in nasty juices. Yeah, those ones look nasty. Those, those are, like those aren't, see, those aren't Gulp Alive, though. These are just Gulp. Oh, this looks like turds. Those look like maggots. Imitation maggots. I think we need to go with like gulp alives. Like this one? Like these chained up, looks like umbilical cords? Hmm, what color are you thinking? No, I don't like that. Oh, that does look like umbilical cords. Bro, what do you think about these? What color do you think we should do? Oh, should we do white? See, those are pretty yeah, big, big though, dude. Yeah, yeah. I think we should go with 
one of these two right here. I'll let you choose, Ryan. So I don't know if you guys can see these, but basically it's like a, it's a little plastic, like a little tail right here. And we have orange and white. So I'll let you choose, Ryan. What are you feeling, orange or white? Nobody goes with orange, so let's do orange. Okay, we'll do orange. We'll show that orange works. We got the orange gulp, and we're gonna see if it works. Ryan decided to go with that, and I, th I think we can catch fish. I think we can catch fish. I think, Ryan, I think the goal today should be to try to catch a bluegill over nine inches on the gulp. Do you think we can do that? We can do that. Got the gulp, got our mission. I'll see you guys at the lake. All right, Bob, we just got set up. Are you gonna catch your first ice fish of the year? Right, Let's see it. I got Rye Boy all set up on the panoptics right now. Oh God, he's about to get murked. You're gonna get whacked. You've been hitting harder. Oh yeah, I'll pull it for you. Literally just got set up and Bud wanted to drop down. Ooh, look at that gill, boy. Oh yeah. Well, Ryan and I just got to the place. We popped a hole just to see if they were here and Ryan dropped down and caught a fish already, so that's a good sign. I'm gonna, you know, pop a few more holes, kind of like find out where these fish are, like just really, really concentrated with the panoptics. Um, again, like I said, if you wanna see a more in-depth out video how to use the panoptics, I'll put a little thing right here for you guys to, to watch. Once I find these fish though, we're gonna put on the gulp and see if we can catch a bluegill. A bluegill over nine inches. That's the goal for today. Or a crappie over, what would you say? A crappie over 12 is pretty good. And we are gonna keep some fish because Ryan's dad wants a little bit of a harvest. So we'll be keeping some of those fish to eat later. But stay tuned guys, you're not gonna miss this action. Making my way to drill some holes. Walk in fast. Oh goodness gracious, here we go. I bet this smells awful, Ryan. Whoo, that is stanky, boy. Dude, this stuff stinks, boys. If you guys are gonna do this, like I would highly suggest not spilling any of this on you. All right, we're gonna take our forceps right here and grab one of these stinky little things because I don't wanna stick my hands in this juice because way too much juices for me. So we got our little thing right here. I don't even know what this is called. We're just gonna put it on a little tungsten jig right here. We're just gonna drop down here. I am gonna get my camera out and set up the all pan optics cam because you guys get a little bit horny when I set that up. So I'll do that for y'all. All righty, we drilled our first hole, got the all pan optics cam set up for you guys oh yeah we got some fish coming in here on the left you can see these guys right here are all fish and that's my jig right there so these look like some bigger marks here got the old gulp on Let's see if we can make some magic happen here I don't know if this is a pan fish though oh he's coming up to me he's coming up to me he's right on me just dead sticking it. Yep, there he is. First fish of the day. There we go. Oh, yeah. What do we got here? Ooh, oh, wow. This would happen. A little base one of the one of the gulp. I told you guys I didn't think this was a little pan fish. I got marks all over the screen now. So I'm going to drop this guy down. That's the first fish on the gulp, though. So the bass like the gulp, but I want to see if I can get one on a pan fish. All right, Ryan and I decided to move. We pop holes right by each other so we can fish right next to each other and use the pan optics. So you're going to see like two of us just murking fish side by side using one unit, which is pretty cool. The school's moving. No. No. Yeah, that's the thing about early ice guys. These fish like to move along these flats. Uh, all over me on the left side, boys. Look at this school. I got one on the left side, gonna come and smash me. There he is, there's one. Ride, double up, dude. What we got? Ooh, just a little gill. Okay, like I said, guys, a challenge is to see if we can catch one over nine inches. This one is definitely not over nine, but it's a start. The first pan fish that I've caught on the gulp. We got a big school on us right now, so I'm gonna take this out and get it right back down. There he is. Going back down. Thanks, guy. Big school on. Big school on Ryan. Best thing about fishing side by side is we're always going to keep those fish's attention, you know? Like, once they're here, they're here. And a lot of problems is when you catch a fish and reel up, that, that school leaves right away. But since I have Ryan fishing right next to me, it's not a problem. We can just tag team these fish, and these fish are going to stay in the area because we're just double teaming them and keeping their interest high. All right, big baits. school, John. Big school. Big school? Oh, yeah, look at that school. All right, they're all okay. I'm dropping down. Hey, hopefully, they eat the gulp. Hey, they take that golf. That'd be look awesome. at the school, nice dude. School. They're all over you, dude. What are you talking about? Oh, look at this one on the left side. We got some coming in pretty suspended on the left side here. Oh, oh, they're coming up to me. There's one on the old gulp. 
What do we got? Little little bluegill. Ooh, that's that's a good gill right there. I'll have to get a measurement on her. So my first good gill of the day. I don't know if this is that's not touching nine. I don't think that's touching nine, but this is gonna be a good harvest. This is gonna be a good little harvest for Ryan's dad. So we're gonna put that in there. All right, dropping back down. I got two panfish, none over nine though. That's the goal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he likes his twitches. Come on. All over me, all over me. Come on. He's nibbling. Oh my goodness. There he is. Oh god, that one took forever to bite, dude. That was a what we got? Good, good oh, cool. that's not a bad one. Not yeah. a bad one, dude. We're still looking for a nine-inch gill, though. I want that nine-incher. Nice little harvest for Ryan's dad. Oh wow. Oh wow. What is this one doing, dude? Oh, is he coming over here to me? Oh, you're gonna get, definitely gonna get smacked. Yep. Smack dude. Like, crush that. He did crush that. Absolutely. Is that? Does that feel like a gill? It does. He's swimming in circles. Oh, it's oh my god! Oh my. Hey, there that. we go, dude. That's a big in. Now Ryan's not using the gulp, but that one's probably close to nine, huh? What'd you say? These fish are acting a little bit finicky. They I'd say. Are. When I was here, I, I was here a few days ago, and they were eating like right away. Oh, there's a good school right there. This is a good school, dude. It's kind of hard to see where Ryan and I are at, but I'm trying to, I'm that's, right on the that's two. Ryan and that's me right there. You if you guys were, straight down you guys were wondering. Two, I'm right there. John is on the other two. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Oh, one right there underneath on my side there. Mm -hmm, yeah, I see it. Doesn't want to do nothing. Oh, There's oh, one. oh, you're going to get smashed, dude. There he is. Yeah, there oh, you go. Is that, is that a dude, bass, you think? No, it's yep. circling, so oh. it has to be a gill. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Dude, Ryan's catching all the big gills, but he ain't using the gulp. Look at that. That Color is beautiful, dude. Beautiful. It's crazy to watch him on the panoptics, though, isn't it? The thickness of that. That is, that is tall and thick, dude. All right, so it's been a while since I've gotten a bite, and this looks like the school kind of left us for a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a new, a new plastic so we get some fresh scent out there. That's always key, I hear. Oh, the camera died. There he is. Again? Yep. Camera died. It's getting cold out here. Could this be the 9-inch gill? It's definitely a gill. Is this a nine inch gill? Ooh. That's gonna be close. I don't know if that's a nine inch gill, but look at that. Absolutely love the gulp. Oh, we're just really? like shy of nine. Just shy of nine, dude. Well, harvest. it's gonna harvest right there. Get the big D's. I'll, I'll join you here on the orange, orange challenge. Here. You're gonna join me here pretty I'll soon with the gulp? One more, and I'll join you in the one more then you're gonna join me in the challenge. Okay, about gosh darn time. Because we need a gill over nine, bro. On the orange. We need, yes, on the orange. There he is. Oh, oh you missed mother one. Of Jeebus. I got I got a few looking at me. We got look at this school guys. Yeah, it's nice. It's look at this really freaking nice. school. Get views. Oh wow. Oh wow. One came out of nowhere. Yep. Oh. John is on. Oh, crop high. A little crop high. He's a little he's a little he's small. A little... That's the first crappie I caught though on the gulp. Oh, Dude, I got right. bat. Yeah, bass, crappie, oh, and that one's all over. All over instantly. You gonna oh, smash one? He left. No, you suck. Look at these on the right coming in. Right. Two of them. Oh, one on the left came out of nowhere. He's going to... Yep. Oh! Out of his mouth. I suck, boys. I am so bad. Uh-oh. He's coming back. He's coming back. He wants more. He wants, he's on. He's on. There we go. I missed one, and then he came back. Crappie. That's a nice crappie, dude. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Fellas, fellas, fellas. We got a nice crappie. Look at that. I'm just going to measure him for for S and G's. All right, I got a good oh, 10 and a half incher and Ryan just caught a nice gill. Look at that. Mm. Panfish city, boys. On the orange challenge. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's your first That's your that's first, first fish on that. Yeah. All right, that's going in the dinner bucket. There we go. Ryan's on. Please be a nine inch gill. Oh, dude, that's gotta be close. Just reach it in there. And There's the gulp. Flick. Boom. Gulp right there. So there, right? That's yep. good. That's, that's good. tip. You're good. Okay, and the tail pinch. Oh, over oh. just barely. Just barely. Nine challenge complete. There we go. All yeah, right, perfect. Ryan completed the challenge. So I'm just gonna catch one more fish. If it's not over nine, then I'm done. If it is over nine, then great. I'm just going one more fish catch. Probably went opposite. Oh no, there he is on the left side of me now. Oh, he's dude. He's coming to me. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Miracle. All over me. All over me. Oh, that's when a fish is on you, there he is. Oh, John, I had him. No, oh. Get it back. Ah. Get it back. no, that was a big mark. No. That was a big mark. Oh, 
Oh my god. Nah, I said I was gonna catch one more. Oh. Dude, that was it. No. Oh no, they're all gone. Oh, son of a. Oh. Oh. He hit. Whoa. This is John a. Is this gone. is a bass. This. This is my last fish of the day. This is definitely not. Yeah, this is definitely. I loose my drag. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is my drag, dude. This is a pike or a bass for sure. Holy cow! He came out of nowhere, dude, and just smashed me. What's that, bass? Yep. A little largey. Hey, last fish to end the day. There you go. A little LMB. Holy yeah, cow! He came out of nowhere. Took your gulp too. He took my gulp, huh? That's fine. Nice. A little uh, go for me. Eat. Oh, that's all. Boom. See Later, dude. And that is where we're gonna end today's video. I couldn't catch a nine inch gill or bigger. I think I caught one that was like touching, but I, I just didn't want to count it. I wanted to catch one that was bigger, like a definite bigger. Ryan, on the other hand, ended up catching one that was bigger than nine, and then I caught a bass to end the day. All in all, it was a good day. We caught a lot of fish. We're keeping a few for his dad to eat. You can't complain, early ice, I love it. There's no snow on the ice, and it makes things super easy to walk around on. Like, you can just pull the sled super easy. Whereas in the middle of winter, guys, it's like super, super cold, and it's harder to like transport stuff, so. Enjoy Enjoy the early ice. Also be safe. As you can see, I got the old ice picks on. Take those safety precautions when you're out there. Just because I'm out here doesn't mean that you guys need to go behind out there and falling through and then suing me. So don't do that. The gulp alive did actually work. As you guys saw, went to runnings, bought the gulp. Ryan ended up catching a bunch of fish and I'll, I'll show you a few of them. Oh yeah, bud. That's, that's a good harvest right there. Oh yeah. So I would say the gulp alive definitely works. If you're balling on a budget or just want to try new baits, definitely give the gulp alive a try. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just wanted to see like, yo, does this work? I did it last year, you guys liked it. So I decided to do it again and see if it would work and it still does. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll see you guys next time.